Fort Huachuca is home to one-of-a-kind testing area known as the Antenna Test Facility, or ATF. Fort Huachuca is rare in that it sits in the Buffalo Soldier Electronic Test Range. It's one of the only areas in the United States where outside radio interference is especially low, making it a good spot to test communications. Not on your sides, Keaton Thomas takes us above, below, and around the ATF. Here's Fort Huachuca's antenna test facility as seen from atop the 100-foot tall tower known as the Red and White Tower. All of these structures you see test communications equipment for the Department of Defense along with private contractors. To evaluate the electronic performance of those uh, programs. Larry Walker is the lead test officer at the ATF. Uh, the Army needs to know how those antennas perform the patterns they create. Every antenna creates a unique pattern with the radio waves they emit, and that's what this facility helps test. For instance, here's how they do it with the creatively titled Large Arc. Test officers will lift a vehicle onto this platform, and there are sensors on the arc above. Below ground, an enormous disc rotates a vehicle under the sensors to give it a 3D picture of how the antenna works. The small arc is the modern equivalent and still performs the same functions plus more. And all of this helps make sure comm equipment on something like this MRAP vehicle work together. Why is this important? Um, the Army runs on beans and bullets, that's right, but, but the backbone of the Army is communications these days. Uh, Everything is, is electronic communication. If they couldn't guarantee their communications equipment works together and works well, their vital information wouldn't get downrange to the guys on the front line. In short, he says this facility helps keep soldiers safe. Keaton Thomas, KGUN 9 on your side. The rich history of